Hello guys and uh, welcome uh, after a very long time to a, a new uh, BIOS update uh, tutorial for the uh, ASUS ROG Strix uh, Z490E gaming motherboard. Uh, the last version uh, updated in uh, 2023 uh, October uh, was the um, version 2801 and now uh, thanks to uh, one of my uh, viewers I was uh, announced that there is a new BIOS version the uh, 3001 uh, it was launched in uh, the uh, end of March 2024 and uh, it promises as always the improved system stability um, and also uh, a patch for the logo fail vulnerabilities. Personally I uh, never had any uh, problems, any issues um, ever since I've purchased this uh, system this intel based system and uh, each time i've upgraded the bios everything runs uh, around uh, really nice and smooth so let's uh, download the new version and after it's uh, finished we need to open the location it will look something like this we need now to extract it where we downloaded it and when we finished the extraction we will uh, have the uh, file uh, already opened uh, now we need to rename uh, this uh, bios dot cap file by, uh, by simply double clicking this bios renamer x And we get this uh, message, uh, we just need to press enter. And now we see that the uh, BIOS file name has been uh, shortened. Using the uh, easy update um, option in uh, the AI Suite 3 utility that we can uh, download. We have it available for download in uh, the uh, ASUS Armory. Uh, we simply uh, scroll where we have the uh, BIOS uh, file and we uh, upload it right here. When we found the location, we simply click it and hit open. And now the file has been uh, uploaded. After that, we uh, go on the right side and hit update. And uh, now we hit again flash. Update BIOS to the new version, we click OK. The system requires a restart for the BIOS to take effect, click OK to restart instantly. OK. And now we uh, simply need to be patient and uh, wait for the uh, installation. Uh, this system will uh, log into the uh, BIOS and uh, will start the uh, updating process. Don't touch anything and just be patient. I would uh, like to uh, thank once more to uh, 
to all of my viewers who over the time uh, helped me to, uh, let's say, keep afloat uh, this uh, YouTube channel. You see my uh, gaming days are over, at least uh, for another uh, uncertain period of time. And um, only this uh, updates this uh, uh, updates from time to time uh, help me to um, upload a new video other than this I uh, really hope uh, all of you guys are uh, are all well um, and uh, hopefully you have a uh, perfect running uh, PC So now we see the clear data base process uh, is taking place. Now we're at update area one. Area two. So this is all part of the uh, update, uh, BIOS update process. Just have uh, patience and of course uh, the uh, duration of the uh, whole thing will vary between 3 and 5 minutes it depends on uh, the system you have but if you have this motherboard for sure you at least have an, uh, an i9 on it We're at area update area five now. Twenty five per cent more, twenty per cent more, and uh, will be there. And now we get this message that the uh, update was successfully. We will get a few restarts. So this was the first one, just uh, be patient, don't worry regarding the lack of signal, we should get another restart. Don't touch anything. And this is the 
low screen logo that we uh, we were waiting for right here uh, we'll see that we have to choose to press F1 or F F3 F1 is for the stock power limits which I uh, highly recommend you to use all the time despite the fact that I have a, a top end system for the year um, 2020 um, I, uh, I chose to, uh, to keep the system at stock settings you can see this motherboard paired with an i9 10900K with a uh, top of the line Noctua and HD15 Chromax Black um, I mean uh, powered by a 1000 watt uh, Corsair AX1000 uh, PSU the only uh, let's say the weakest link in my system would be the GPU that is an RTX 2070 Super but even that is the Gaming X trial from MSI so the, the best cooling possible uh, but I try to uh, undervolt the CPU it's true way lower than uh, the uh, limits showed on the YouTube tutorials and trust me I uh, I got instabilities, so occasional freezes and something like that. Keep your system on stock and uh, let it um, simply uh, run as it is. If you want more FPS, there is only one way to do that. You need to upgrade your GPU. So don't, and even when you do this, this no matter what GPU you would have, let it uh, run as it's meant to be from factory if it has some uh, OC modes of course like we get right now even those are not uh, recommended because your system will pull out uh, will draw two times more power and the increase in performance will be marginal so if you will leave everything to stock I assure you you will not have any issues with the stabilities with the blue screens with crashings with um, let's say even warranty problems for the parts because you can literally um, fry some of your components or all of them um, and this is why I, uh, I would recommend you to play it safe and uh, use just the F1 if you want to go all out and uh, decrease significantly the lifespan of your PC and of your components then feel free to press F3 <laughs> I will press F1 And now uh, we are in BIOS uh, what we need to do because um, the uh, new version is installed is to go uh, and press F7 to enable the easy mode so F7 and right here we need to simply enable the XMP profile of the RAM this will take the RAM from 2133 to the max frequency possible from factory so the OC mode but uh, perfectly doable in my case I have a uh, 64 gigabyte for um, slot for uh, sticks of course sir vengeance uh, the uh, RS version uh, so I will enable the XMP like this you need to do this and also um, we need to come back in the uh, advanced mode 
press F7 again. And we need to um, cut the um, cut off the power, the electricity to our PC um, case, to our components when the PC is uh, shut down or hibernate or in sleep mode, whatever uh, you like to use. So for this we need to um, go in, I think, let's see, advanced. on board uh, devices configuration and here we have USB power delivery in soft off state S5 this is enabled and this means that it delivers power to uh, all your uh, components to all the peripherals the keyboards, the, the mouse um, and other components in your PC uh, that have RGB. Even if they don't have RGB, no matter what they would have, they would still draw power. So um, we want to disable this when we shut down the PC, everything turns off. So. Uh, this is pretty much it. Now we need to press F10 to save and exit. This is all the uh, modifications we did. All the uh, ones from above, uh, aside from the last one, are the changes made by uh, going from uh, Auto to the XMP profile uh, of the RAM. The last one is the uh, shut off uh, power completely when we uh, shut down the PC. And now we simply press OK. So this is pretty much it guys. This wraps it up. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for watching. I really hope uh, I'll uh, get the chance to to upload uh, more often um, I really hope you're, uh, you will be all good to have perfect running system all the times uh, even if they are right now four generations old and I'll catch you in the in the next uh, update videos once again thank you all uh, thank you to you all uh, who keep me up to date uh, with the uh, new drivers uh, available. I wish you all the best guys. Bye bye.